Now, the issue of bioweapons and also facilities inside of Ukraine that reportedly were being used to, in fact, produce bioweapons is now reached the United Nations Security Council. An emergency meeting of the Council has been called today at the request of Russia that has alleged that the United States is actually funding a research for creating bioweapons inside of Ukraine. But both the United States and Kiev have denied the allegations and they say that this is actually a sign that Moscow could soon use the weapons itself. The Western nations have in fact charged that this is a ruse, a false flag sort of an operation by Russia to lay down the groundwork to use bio and chemical weapons in Ukraine, something that Moscow has been accused of doing in Syria. что мы якобы разрабатываем бактериологическое оружие, якобы готовим химическую атаку. Меня это очень беспокоит, потому что не единожды мы убеждались уже. Хочешь узнать о планах России, посмотри, в чем Россия обвиняет других. Послушайте, разгонка таких обвинений в российских СМИ сама по себе показывает, что это они на такое способны. Российские же военные Российские же спецслужбы показывают, что они этого хотят. Они уже делали такие вещи в других странах. Точно так же. Сами анонсировали, сами организовывали, сами жаловались и сами будут делать еще. Снова и снова, если их не остановить. This is a government that has used banned chemical weapons uh, on its own people in the past. They've done so uh, on Russian territory. They've done so uh, on British soil. Uh, they have supported the brutal Assad regime, which itself uh, has used uh, banned chemical weapons uh, on its people. Uh, so we know what this government uh, will resort to, can resort to, has resorted to in the past. Uh, but the other element that gives us uh, a good deal of concern uh, is what we know about the Kremlin's tactics, especially its disinformation tactics. Now, this has, of course, created a huge diplomatic round between Russia and the United States, where Russia has accused the United States of funding and developing bioweapons inside of Ukrainian territory. Now, interestingly, the case of Russia using chemical weapons in Syria remains unresolved. Both Russia and the United States have raised the matter at the Security Council meeting on this issue. And British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has said that the allegations by the Kremlin are straight out of the Russian playbook. Miserable, needless suffering. I'll, I'll, I'll make you one other prediction, by the way, which is that uh, the stuff that you're hearing about uh, chemical weapons this is straight out of their playbook. They start saying that uh, there are chemical weapons uh, that uh, have been stored by uh, their opponents or by the Americans. And so when they themselves deploy uh, chemical weapons, as I, as I fear they, they may, they have a, a, a sort of a maskirovka, a, a fake story ready to go. And you've you seen it in Syria. Uh, you, you, you saw it in, even in the UK. Now, Russia has alleged that the United States is actually pouring millions of dollars to fund biolabs in Ukraine to develop bioweapons. At least 30 of them have been reported by Russia, and all of these biolabs reportedly are creating bioweapons. The Defense Ministry has further said that the United States funded the biolabs that were researching on how to spread deadly pathogens. Особый интерес вызвала детальная информация о реализации США на территории Украины проекта по изучению переноса патогенов, мигрирующими между Украиной и Россией, другими соседними странами, дикими птицами. Согласно документам, американская сторона планировала вести на Украине в 2022 году работы по патогенам птиц, летучих мышей и рептилий с дальнейшим переходом к изучению возможности переноса ими Африканской чумы свиней и сибирской язвы. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization has advised Ukraine to destroy the high threat pathogens that are housed in the country's public health labs. This in order to prevent any potential spills that could spread disease amongst the population. The risk of this kind of a scenario has in fact been raised as Russian airstrikes and shelling continues in the country. Like many other nations, Ukraine too 
as public labs that study how to mitigate threats of dangerous diseases affecting both animals and humans, including, most recently, this includes the studying of the COVID-19 virus. Its labs have received support from the United States, the European Union and the World Health Organization. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.